Albert Einstein grew up in a middle-class family. When he was born, his family was scared that something was wrong with him. He had very large and misshapen head. But fortunately, within the first few weeks, the shape of his head became normal. But their worries didn't stop there. When he was very young, his parents thought he might be intellectually disabled, because he was very slow to learn to talk and did not speak until he was four years old. At that time, he often formed full sentences in his thoughts, but did not speak. He used to practice the sentences in his head or whisper them softly under his breath until he got them right and then say them aloud. Many people believed Einstein would never succeed at anything. When he was five years old, his father showed him a simple pocket compass, and Einstein was fascinated, and that was the beginning of his obsession with science. He also began playing the violin at the age of six and would continue to play throughout his life. At school, Einstein was a good student, most of his grades were high, and he was near the top of his class, but mainly because of math and science, so his grades depended mostly on his interest in the subject. When Einstein was only 10 years old, he started educating himself. By the age of 12, Einstein taught himself geometry, and by the age of 15, he mastered calculus but he hated the disciplined and rigid style of the teachers, so he dropped out of school at the age of 15 and left Germany to avoid military service. His parents were worried that their son became a school dropout with no employable skills and not very promising future. But Albert Einstein did not quit his education. He applied to the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and, believe it or not, he failed the entrance exam. Albert Einstein failed an exam. Well, he wasn't prepared. He excelled at math and physics, but his knowledge on subjects other than that was not good. So he failed the exam and had to take it a second time, and then he was admitted. There he met his future wife, Mileva Maric. She was the only woman among the six students in that section. After finally graduating, he couldn't get a job in academia for almost a decade. Every one of his professors knew that Albert was brilliant, but they were also bothered by his rebellious and disobedient side, so they refused to recommend him for various positions, so the academic institutions wouldn't hire him. But young Einstein needed money, so he got a job as a clerk in a patent office. The job was mostly mindless and very easy for Einstein so he liked the job because he had so much free time to study and research while working there, and he developed his most important theories while working his boring job. He developed the theory of relativity and the world's most famous equation. Einstein was nominated for a Nobel Prize, but did not receive it until 11 years later. Albert Einstein became the most influential physicist of the 20th century. His research changed the world. He wrote hundreds of books and was also a great philosopher. So there's so many things to be learned. I have no special talent. I'm only passionately curious. So follow your curiosity, whatever that is. See where it goes. Never be afraid to question the world around you and don't be afraid of failing and making mistakes along the way. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Dare to discover and dare to make mistakes. That's what divides successful people from unsuccessful. Don't be afraid to conquer your fears and don't be afraid to follow your passion. You don't have to be the next Einstein. Be the best you can be. So rise up tomorrow and become a person you would be proud of. The world is waiting for you. So, what's your story?